M0FXB, welcome to my channel and we're on the Shark RF site for the open spot hotspots. So if you look here, they're doing a special offer, 199 uh, plus shipping and tax for the open spot 4 and uh, 269 plus shipping and tax for the open spot pro. So the obvious question is, well, which one do I go for? So I've emailed OpenSpot or Shark RF and they've come back with a link which gives clear information. Both the OpenSpot 4 and the OpenSpot 4 Pro do cross-moding, but if you want full cross-moding with D-Star included, the OpenSpot 4 will not do this. And it lists here that the OpenSpot 4 is a software-based cross-mode, so that I would guess that it's all being done back at the server. Um, at the Shark RF server, and if you look here, it lists, you know, DMR, C4FM, DMR, NXDN, NXDN, DMR, C4FM, P25, C4FM. It doesn't mention anything to do with DSTAR, and then note that as the standard non-pro version of the OpenSpot 4 has no onboard transcoding hardware, it can't change the audio level of the transcode stream. So that's definitely you know something to bear in mind now the open spot 4 pro has an onboard ambi vocoder chip which many hot spots uh, i would say do have i'm trying to think of which one i've got like the for the dv mega 30 stick has for definite but anyway the main thing is now look here the open spot 4 pros onboard transcoding hardware supports the following cross mode so it's got a, 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 a vocoder chip in there and look, and it does everything. It's cross-moding everything. D-Star, C4FM, DMR, you name it. It does it all and it does it well. And you can adjust the volume. And remember, the other new feature they've added is you can PTT RXTX on your iPhone or your Android phone without even having a radio. So you buy the OpenSpot 4 Pro, you've basically got everything, all modes, all digital modes, uh, you know, on your phone and I think that's pretty good so to me the extra 50 pound is easily worth getting the, the the open spot for pro I just think that the information should be very clear a lot clearer than it actually is because you've got to sort of dig a little bit to work out the difference between the two hotspots they look identical the badge is slightly different but they look the same and the price you know 199 that's a selling price isn't it you're going to jump at that i think yes but when you get it and you start trying to cross mode from say dmr to d star i think you're going to be disappointed uh so it's a very small light device i have i have had the open spot 4 pro in my hand a few times it's a very small light device the size is identical to the OpenSpot 3. Now, the OpenSpot 3 does everything. Fingers crossed they're not going to you know, take any of that away. The main problem with my OpenSpot 3 is the battery life is only, what, a couple of years, two years? And as soon as the battery runs out, you start to get all these notifications, and I'm going to be looking into seeing if I can turn them off. I did disconnect the battery, but I found that it still act a bit... Qu the OpenSpot 3 was a bit quirky. Um, but that's my... You know, that's for another video. So the main thing is... OpenSpot 4 Pro or OpenSpot 4, what's the big difference? And that is you don't get D-Star cross mode and you have to, you're reliant on the server of Shark RF to make on how good that cross moding is. And, and sometimes it's not that great. So there you go. So 7.3, thanks for watching my channel. Catch you on air. All the best.